Of course nothing would happen because this isn't connected. <laughs> This tiny switch, this is some of Zigbee Mini and it required live and neutral wires to be present behind your wall switch, just like that one, to be properly connected. But there is a new son of device in town, it's called son of Zigbee Mini. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, it's son of Zigbee Mini L, which indicates that you only need a live wire, which is a perfect situation for people like me. Not lazy people like me. People like me in UK who usually don't have neutral wire behind the wall switches. So if you are like me, big fan of Zigbee and big fan of uh, affordable switches from Sonoff, well, you are in for a treat. And as it happens, I already have one and one's going to be available for sale quite soon. So what do you think are the chances of me giving myself a shock? Well, I'm not Electroboom, so I hope if this works. Hey, so this is Son of Zigbee Mini L in action. So what exactly is Son of Zigbee Mini L? It is a single channel relay with support for single or two-way switches. So that's going to be down to you and your implementation. Now it can carry up to six amps, which is, to be honest, plenty because those switches are made for basically lights. You're not going to drive any electrical motors with it, there are devices for that specifically. Now as a bonus, it comes with a small bracket that you can use to fit the sun off nicely or mount it on a DIN rail. It's not something I'm going to be using, that's for sure. The switch itself has four terminals and you'll notice that two of them, S1 and S2, are for connecting the wall switch. More on that later and be careful with that. And you have line in and line out, or life in and life out. No neutral, as promised. Other than that, you'll also find a single button that you can use to A, pair the device, B, toggle the relay state, and C, change the operational mode. Because this switch can be set into two operational modes, for the rocker switches and the push button switches. So, the most popular switches on the walls. Before you're gonna get this hookup, be careful with S1 and S2. Look up the instructions and, well, I do not take any responsibility for your actions. Now, if you're going to connect the single switch, use S2 to live connection. Now, S1 is fused with life and if you connect neutral, you're gonna blow up your fuses and destroy the device in progress. I've killed one of the son of switches in the past, so I'm super careful with these. Now, if you're going to go for two-way switching, then everything is explained in the instructions as well. Follow those and you'll be ground. As this is a Zigbee 3.0 device, the pairing is pretty simple, but there is a plot twist. You actually don't need Son of Zigbee uh, Hub. This Son of Zigbee Mini L works with Alexa devices that have Zigbee Hubs built in, which means they standardize the protocol, so it would work with a wider range of Zigbee devices. Initially, I've used it with Son of Zigbee Hub. Once per, thanks to EWLink app, it connects quickly and I had no problem adding it to my ecosystem. Now from there, the controls were pretty simple. You have access to a toggle for the main relay. You have also access to timers, schedules and to loop. But there is no software control over how the wall switch would behave. The only way to do it is via hardware button. If timers and schedules aren't enough, obviously you can still take advantage of the EWLink automation panels with scenes where you can link different devices together and create custom automations, followed by whatever you can add from routines or skills in respective smart assistant. And if that's not enough and you don't want to play with the custom coordinators, then you can always use EWLink API to bring all Sonofall, all EWLink devices to your uh, ecosystem, whether it's a, a home assistant or no dread. I'm gonna have an article linked somewhere in there, so do, do check it out. In use, it switches a light quickly, whether using it from the cloud or via Alexa or Google Home ecosystems. The same goes obviously for switching from the wall switch, which is almost instantaneous, and the update shortly follows on your EWLink app. 
Now, before I'm gonna start exploring more options, I probably want to look inside and let you know what is inside. I feel a little bit guilty for bringing a Shelly branded screwdriver to a solo job, but let's open it up anyway. Inside you'll notice that the relay is rated for 16 amps, unlike the official rating of 6 amps. So I think the limitation so I think the current limitation has more to do with actual PCB design than the relay itself. What's also indicative of my previous warning is the fact that S1 is fused with light N, so be careful and do not connect neutral there. Lastly, I wanted to find out what is the Zigbee IC, and to my surprise, they are actually not chipping out. They are using CC2652, the same powerful coordinator that is uh, available on Son of Dongle Plus. You can check out this, everything about Son of Dongle Plus in that video. It means that this device, apart from being a decent switch, will also act as a pretty powerful router for your mesh network. And as we're speaking about custom coordinators, of course I would give it a go with my custom coordinator. So the device pairs quickly, however it isn't supported just yet. Chances are that uh, when you're watching this, it might already been added because I'm gonna submit everything about this uh, very soon. But all you have to do is just open the devices from Sonoff and add the model number to a Zigbee Mini because it uses exactly the same controls as the Sonoff Zigbee Mini. Once connected, you can start controlling it with the usual MQTT payloads. So I've used uh, state on and state off to toggle it and a status update to get its current status. As you can see, even if I toggle the switch itself, it sends updates really quickly and there was no problem with the three coordinators I've used. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna end this video with a positive note because this device is well, less than $14, which is very inexpensive for such a powerful Zigbee router for your mesh network. So if you're in a situation like me where all your wall switches having just two wires to life in and life out, then that's the switch for you. I have not experienced any flickering with a cheap Tesco bulb, uh, which they are as cheap as they get, so I hope it's the same case for you. So if you're interested in the description of this video, I'm gonna share the link to this Son of Zigbee Mini L. Right, big thanks for Son of for sending me one early so I could take a look and share my opinion with you. And you know, I do not have a posting schedule, but I have a quite a bit of interesting devices coming up. So uh, you know how it works. I'm not going to explain you all this, but if you want to leave me a comment, especially with a link, use my social media instead because YouTube blocks those for some reason and I cannot recover them. So now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Take care. Bye.